So the first time we tried making this video, my brother Josh and I actually got kicked out of our local Sherwin-Williams. All I wanted to do is make a video explaining the interior line of paints from Sherwin-Williams, but that's boring, so we wanted to go on location and film inside of an actual Sherwin-Williams. When we showed up, there were some corpo uppity-ups that were none too pleased that a couple of YouTube scrubs were filming in their store, and we got the old boot. <laughs> and stay out of the Woolworth. Now, we are not deterred by anything like that, so instead of that, Josh has recreated a Sherwin-Williams simulation in his basement, and you guys will be enjoying B-roll of that particular location during the entirety of this video, so please enjoy. Onward to the actual products that Sherwin-Williams offers for interior painting. I'm gonna start with their Promar series, which stands for Professional Market. Now these products are really geared towards commercial painting. We used a lot of this stuff when we did a lot of apartment painting back in the day. Uh, so you don't need to worry about these too much. Uh, there is one product that I will mention that uh, we'll talk about in a second. Uh, so starting at the bottom, you've got Promar 400, Prom Promar 200, Property Solutions. Those are all wall paints. And then you've got uh, Pro Classic, which is their trim paint, which is ugh. And then you've got Promar Ceiling Paint. Uh, that is an actual great product and is our preferred uh, ceiling paint if you can get your hands on it at an affordable price, which sometimes is challenging for homeowners. Uh, it is worth uh, taking a look at. Onward to the first kind of uh, homeowner offering that they have at Sherwin-Williams, which is Captivate. It's basically a standard interior latex uh, wall paint it comes in these sheens and I don't use it because it is garbage and speaking of garbage uh, Eminence will be the ceiling paint that you get recommended at most Sherwin-Williams stores um, I don't use it because it sucks the next tier up is going to be cashmere and the best thing about cashmere is that it comes in a really fancy looking can it's not awful but it has some coverage issues and particularly in the darker colors it doesn't tend to do that well uh, some people really like the finish of certain um, sheens in that particular product. Um, it's okay, but I definitely think there are some better products out there from Sherwin-Williams. Uh, which leads me to Super Paint, which is the first kind of tier of product that I actually like uh, from Sherwin-Williams, particularly the flat. Um, all the sheens do pretty well as far as coverage goes, but the flat paint is a nice um, alternative to ceiling paint. If you haven't... Um, if you haven't settled on a product that you like or you can't get your hands on Promar ceiling paint, during the shortages a little while ago, we used a lot of Super Paint flat on ceilings. It's really close to a dead flat, so it touches up well and it just looks really nice on the ceiling. Um, that is Super Paint is kind of where I recommend everyone starts as far as like that's the lowest tier I go uh, with Sharon Williams. Onward to my personal favorite line of paint from Sharon Williams, which is Duration Home. It comes in flat, matte, satin, and semi-gloss. I'd say Duration Matte is our top go-to paint from Sherwin-Williams. Um, it's really closer to what people think of as an eggshell um, in most other paints, like uh, Regal Select Eggshell from Benjamin Moore. But Duration has moisture and mold blocking agents built into it, so it's what we use on the ceiling and the walls in a bathroom. So anything that is gonna generate a lot of moisture, uh, like a tub or a shower, it's really good for rooms that get a lot of steam. Also Duration Semi-Gloss is a great uh, kind of uh, very workable trim paint. Um, it's not as durable as some of their other offerings, but it's really easy to work with and is one of their top sellers uh, that people use on trim and doors. Uh, next up is Emerald, which is kind of their flagship line of paint. Um, Emerald does really nicely. It's very similar to Duration in that it has the mildicide and the moisture rubberizing agents built into the formulations. Uh, but one of the other things it does really nicely is it handles the deeper base dark colors a lot better than the other products from Sherwin-Williams. So if you're thinking about doing an accent wall in your house and you want to know what's going to cover the best, I would go with Emerald. And I'd probably go with either the flat or the matte. Um, you tend to experience less uh, picture framing and alligatoring and a bunch of other things that you don't want when you're rolling a really dark color. Um, so that tends to do the best uh, with that. There is one step above Emerald, which is the Emerald Designer Edition. I don't have very much experience with that, uh, but it's... Uh, super, super expensive. I think right now it's going for like $120 a gallon, which is, uh, I don't know what it would be doing other than if it applied itself uh, that would be worth that amount of money per can. Uh, but again, I haven't had a lot of experience with that, but I have had quite a bit with uh, the others that I've talked about here. And lastly, Emerald Urethane Trim Enamel is the 
it's a hybrid trim paint in the Emerald line, and that is our new go-to trim paint. We've probably switched over and we're using that really consistently for the last two years. Um, it's a hybrid. It comes in satin, semi-gloss, and gloss, and it is muy bueno. I can't recommend that enough. That is the uh, kind of tiers of interior lines of paint broken down from Sherwin-Williams. If you found this video useful, check out one of these other videos where I run my mouth about something similar. And until next time, y'all take it easy. Work smart. Have a good one. Thanks. I like King's Horses and 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 I like King's Hor